Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can save 10% on your brand new website. The draft is one of the key events in a season for all of the major American sports. It has the power to change the results of a sporting franchise and turn long suffering teams into the best in the league. But what if the Premier League had a draft? Well, that's what today's FIFA 20 experiment is going to explore. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. It's time for our first FIFA 20 career mode experiment of the year. And this is an annual thing I do on the channel. I love making this video. What if the Premier League had a draft? So what I have done, I have gone through and got the top five players from every single Premier League club and put them into a draft. This is more of a fantasy draft compared to the traditional drafts that they have in American sports where like the worst team gets the first pick. I've just gone through and put all the names into a randomizer and then just clicked random numerous times, like 200 times, until all of the five players from each club ended up on a random Premier League team. So we will have a look at those results in just a second. But if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on the video. And also if you are new around here, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. But without further ado, let's get in and have a look at what five players each club sacrificed. So we're going to be beginning with Arsenal. The Gunners have sacrificed Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Alexander Lacazette, Socrates, Burn Leno and Mesut Ertil. With this draft, the bigger clubs have more to lose and the smaller clubs have more to gain because if these big clubs are all losing 80 rated players, 85 rated, even 90 rated players, compared to some of the worst teams in the league who are losing 74, 75, 76 rated players, yeah, a lot of teams could go crap. But anyways, moving across to Aston Villa, they are sacrificing Tom Heaton, Wesley, Bjorn Angles, Jack Grealish, and Trezeguet. Bournemouth are going to be sacrificing Fraser, Ake, Wilson, King, and Lerma. Brighton and Hove Albion are going to be sacrificing one of my favorite players, Matt Ryan. They're going to also be sacrificing Trossard, Gross, Duffy, and Dunk. Burnley are going to be sacrificing Tarkovsky, Nick Pope, Defer, Barnes, and me. Chelsea are sacrificing N'Golo Kante, Cesar Azpilicueta, Kepa Aretha Balaga, Jorginho and Olivier Giroud. Crystal Palace, they're losing a big name. Wilfred Zaha leaving the club along with Milivojevic, Sarko, Greiter and Tompkins. Everton, the Toffees, they're losing Sigurdsson, Digne, Pickford, Bernard and Keane. Leicester City, they are losing a lot of their star players from when they, when they won the Premier League. They are losing Kasper Schmeichel, Jamie Vardy, Pereira, and Diddy, and Yuri Tielemans. Liverpool, the current champions of Europe, are losing Virgil van Dijk, Mo Salah, Alisson, Mane, and Firmino. I mean, if they don't retain any big players, Liverpool could be in big strife now. The champions of England, Manchester City, who just won last night 8-0 against Watford are losing some massive players, Kevin De Bruyne, Sergio Aguero, David Silva, Raheem Sterling, and Edison. Man United, they are losing David De Gea, Paul Pogba, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, and their new signing, Harry Maguire. The Magpies, Newcastle United, are losing Dubravka, Almiron, Fabian Schaar, St. Maximin, and Lascelles. Norwich City, they are losing Farman, Amadou, Puki, the men on fire, the player of the month, uh, Dermage and then Patrick Roberts. Another newly promoted side, Sheffield United. They're losing Ravel Morrison, Phil Jackielka, Ollie Norwood, Dean Henderson, and Sharp. Southampton, the Saints. They're losing James Ward Prowse, Ryan Bertrand, Vestergaard, Lamina, and Redmond. Tottenham, they are losing Harry Kane, Hugo Lloris, Christian Eriksen, Toby Alderweireld, and Hyung Min Sun. Watford are losing to Kore, Delafeu, Foster. Kapue and Pereira. Almost there. West Ham United, they're losing Felipe Anderson, Sebastian Heyer, Fabianski, Pablo Fanals, and Lanzini. And then Wolverhampton, they are the final team sacrificing players. They are losing Jao Moutinho, Patricio, Neves, Jimenez, and Diego Jota. So now it gets to the fun part. Who is going where? I want to remind you again, this was completely randomized. I didn't choose it. It was just button, 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 just mashing. But there are some fun results in here. So we're going to start off again with Arsenal. Arsenal have signed Jamie Vardy, Jorginho, 
Henderson, Dubravka, and Bernard. So a mixed bunch there, but it could have definitely been much worse there for the Gunners. Aston Villa with some big name players coming in. They've got Hugo Lloris, Pablo Fernals, Toby Alderweireld, Oli Norwood, and Sharp. So it's a bit of a... Well, it's a Tottenham and Sheffield United dominated draft. Bournemouth, another club absolutely getting some big players in. Firmino, Giroud, Decore, Farman, and Moutinho. Brighton and Hove Albion have got Anthony Martial, Wilfred Zaha, Josef Dermic, Foster, and Ricardo Ferreira. Burnley, Brexit FC, they've got Duffy, Ertil, Fraser, Pope, and Lamina. I must point out as well, Pope is there. You're allowed to go back to the same club. If they want to draft you, they could. Chelsea, the transfer ban in real life, but they have drafted Engels, Redmond, Morrison, Kapue, and Ndidi. So a big club. Not getting any star players back, really. Crystal Palace with one of the best drafts we have seen yet. They brought in Kevin De Bruyne, Lacazette, Harry Kane, Fabianski, and Harry Maguire. Are you kidding me? Also, make sure you leave me know in the comment section down below what you thought of your team's draft. If you support a Premier League club, are you happy with the players you lost? Are you happy with the players you gained in? Let me know in the comment section. I'm sure after that, there'll be a lot of Crystal Palace fans happy. All right, moving on to Everton, the Toffees. They have brought in Ake, Shah, Mane. Okay, so a Liverpool player going to Everton, Sadio Mane. I think if that happened, the world would go mad. And they've also brought in Haya and Tielemans. Leicester City, trying to become champions of England once again. They have brought in Amadou, Neves, Tompkins, Roberts, and Eriksen. So, pretty mediocre. Liverpool, champions of Europe, trying to get that Premier League title. They've got Raheem Sterling. He's coming back to Anfield. They've also got Trezeguet, Hyung Min Sun, Ben Mee, and James Ward-Prowse. So, their wings are going to be on fire. Manchester City, the champions. They've got Sigurdsson. Matt Ryan, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, or Aubameyang, I've been told off for saying Aubameyang a lot. They've also got in St. Maximum and Sacco. Man United, the Red Devils, they get Jagielka, Digne, Kante, Almiron, and they keep Marcus Rashford. Newcastle United have brought in Jimenez, Keane, Lerma, Leno, and David Silva. Newly promoted Norwich looking to shake things up. They have drafted Milivojevic, Diego Jota, David De Gea, Lanzini and Barnes. Another newly promoted club looking to shake things up. Sheffield United have got Paul Pogba, Dunk, Gross, Felipe Anderson, and Wilson. Wow. Southampton, the Saints, who have they drafted? It is going to be Socrates, Vestergaard staying at the club, Lascelles, Kepo Aretha Balaga, and Schmeichel. So two goalkeepers brought in by Southampton. Bold strategy. We'll see if it pays off. Into the final four clubs, Tottenham. They've got Puki. Gaeta, Grealish, Mo Salah, and Tarkovsky. Okay. Some big names still available as we get into Watford. They've brought in Defer, King, Bertrand, Patricio, and Heaton. So two goalkeepers again. Not the best draft from them, though. West Ham United, the Irons. They have brought in Wesley, Pickford, Aguero, Trossard, and Azpilicueta. That is solid. And the final club, Wolverhampton. They have signed Delafeu, Edison, Van Dyke, Pereira, and Allison. Edison and Allison. Wow, they're gonna have a very strong defense, aren't they? So those are the draftings, the sacrifices, everything from all 20 Premier League clubs. We're now gonna jump over to FIFA and see what happens. Let's get the party started. So we are gonna be doing an in-tournament mode here, not trying to make anything, like I don't want any transfers to happen or anything like that. We're going to do a new tournament here. Going across to the Premier League. I'm going to be controlling all of the teams as well to make sure there's no uh, cheating or anything of the like. Here we go. Just spamming it all. Making sure that all the teams are going to be playing their full strength starting 11. Look at that front three now for Liverpool. Trezeguet, Hyung Min Sun, and Raheem Sterling in there. Adrian is the man that's the main goalkeeper. Got to put Matt Eep in as well instead of Vandenberg. But anyways, I'll get simulating to the end of the season and I'll see you guys come match day. I'll go to match day 19 and see how things are tracking along halfway through. So here we are, halfway through the season, and it is Newcastle United currently on track for an invincible season. They haven't lost a game. They're on 45 points. Imagine if this happened in real life. West Ham in second, Bournemouth in third, Wolves in fourth, Norwich fifth, Liverpool sixth. Leicester City 7th, so a lot of the big clubs struggling. Arsenal, Southampton, and Burnley in the relegation zone. But Newcastle United 
What a story that would be. I'm kind of hoping they go undefeated now, hoping they go invincible. That's insane. Mark Noble is currently the leading goal scorer in the Premier League. Aguero is also picking up a few goals for West Ham United. That is crazy. Mark Noble's got 11 goals. What? Anyways, I'll keep on simming. I'll see you guys come the end of the season. Look, that's how you know things are getting a little bit wild. Jack Wilshere has won the player of the month in the Premier League. But here we are at the end of the season. I'm gonna look through some of the stats before we look at the final Premier League table. Jimenez has had an insane second half of the season, taking out the golden boot. Noble added another three goals to his tally, but finished well behind Jimenez. Jimenez absolutely killed it. Aguero up there, Richie. It was really the Newcastle and West Ham show, wasn't it? Firmino did well, King there. Bomiang for Man City, bag 12. Bit of a mixed group. Sterling got 11 goals for Liverpool. His Chiedo got eight for Brighton. So Jimenez just killing it. In terms of assists, David Silva came out on top with nine assists. Firmino had a pretty well-rounded season. So did Sterling. Wilson up there. Nobody really standing out. Pretty close to be fair. I would have expected a lot of players to get more. like. Is it normal for the top assist getter to only have nine assists? I don't look into that too much, but I feel like someone should have more than nine assists and finish on top. Burn Leno, really carrying it for Newcastle this season. He got 18 clean sheets, Pickford with 12, and then a mixed bag between the rest of the players, really. A lot of clubs splitting up their goalkeeper usage, which is interesting to see, but Burn Leno, 18 bloody clean sheets. Yellow cards don't really matter, but a lot of Everton and Watford players in there. Red cards, Noble got one. Nobody, nobody with multiple ones, however. But now it is time to look at the final Premier League table. We're gonna go down and look at the standings. You can see, oh, okay, it doesn't show who won first. So, Southampton relegated. But Chelsea got relegated as well. Oh my God. They had a shocker of a draft and it showed. So Chelsea, Burnley, Southampton, all relegated. Wouldn't that be nice if that happened in real life? Sheffield United, not a great season, even though they had Paul Pogba. Brighton, Leicester, Arsenal. A lot of the big boy clubs doing pretty poor. Norwich have had a shocking second half for the season. They were fifth, weren't they, halfway through the season? So not good for Norwich, not good for Liverpool either. They've dropped down to 10th. Palace up there, Everton up there. We're getting to the big clubs. City's had a good second half of the season. Aston Villa in fourth, Bournemouth in seventh after being third, Wolves in third, so Newcastle and West Ham first and second at the halfway point, and the Premier League champion is West Ham. Oh, Newcastle have had a shocking second half of the season compared to where they were. They were undefeated, only six draws. And now they've had five losses in the second half of the season. The draws absolutely killed them though because West Ham had seven losses, but only nine draws. So West Ham United are your Premier League champions post-draft. So lads, that is where today's FIFA 20 career mode experiment is gonna come. Well, not even career mode, just FIFA 20 experiment is gonna come to a conclusion. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video. I really enjoy doing these, so I'd be open to doing them with different leagues, like the Champions League, the Bundesliga, all that sort of stuff. If you are new around here as well though, make sure you scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. Make sure you check out my second channel as well, posting daily over there. But most importantly, I hope you have a fantastic day. It's been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace. So I would like to say a big thank you to Squarespace for once again sponsoring today's video. If you are looking to create a website for your store, your business, or any creative outlet you have, Squarespace is the spot to do it. For me, the feature that really stands out with Squarespace is the interface. It is so easy to put together your own website and an ass aesthetically pleasing website as well. I'm also a big fan of the complete commenting features. Community is a massive part of what I do here. And the fact that you can create a fully integrated commenting system that allows you to look at comments, likes, all of that good stuff is awesome. There also are no plugins necessary when you are creating a website with Squarespace. So check out squarespace.com today for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, make sure you go to squarespace.com slash 
slash Jared HD to get 10% off your first website or domain.